Hi guys, um, I nearly said welcome to my kitchen, not my kitchen. Um, today I'm actually doing an unboxing. You see, I'm just working with some things that are really interesting right now. A little buzzy, but interesting. Please ignore that sound. Um, I do live on a farm, so there's always something happening. Um, so basically, yeah, I've just uh, started a new venture that I will be sharing with you in the near future as soon as I'm ready to do so. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to unbox a package from Take A Lot. So this whole box is from Take A Lot. And I'm really hoping that the stuff in here are as interesting to you as they are to me. I'm just going to put that down there. Um, so I did get the box, not, uh, yeah, well, I got the box, I think, yesterday morning, and then I did the whole sanitizing situation, don't forget to do that, and as you can see, some of my stuff, and then there's some of this placement paper that I'm going to take out, and put on the floor, but yeah let's get going so i'm just gonna move the box to the side and then take out the first thing i think i need to hold it up and this is a kitchen scale now i already have one right now but it's um a manual kitchen scale so basically You've got the numbers written around the rim of the scale, and then you just read it off of there. But I've decided that, oops, I've decided that I need a digital kitchen scale. Because when you're using a digital kitchen scale, it actually... I suppose I'll need to put batteries off. If you're using a digital kitchen scale, then it actually shows the actual numbers on here. So if you are, um, for example, measuring a certain amount of flour and you are measuring by the gram and not just a cup, it's gonna show the exact number on here. So there's no chance that you are going to either get more flour than what you need or, or less. Because sometimes if you're just, um, with some recipes, if you're just using the cup measures, how you scoop it up and um, put it in and sometimes you haven't even sifted it that then decides how much flour you get in the cup but if you've got a scale like this one or even the other one but more this one you're going to get an exact um, reading of the actual measurement so um, I need actual measurements in my life right now and that's why I've decided to get myself one of these it actually comes with a bowl that sits on top of it like that so if you're going to let's go back to the flower if you're going to be measuring out some flour then you can put it in here because this particular bowl that's on here does not add any weight onto the scale see because that's very important so you're going to put your flour or whatever it is margarine or whatever you're weighing out inside this bowl and you're going to get the exact number over here and you can actually remove the bowl. And then the thing I like about it is the fact that because the bowl is removable and it's so small and light, this is basically the part that you're going to be washing. So this you can put in your dishwasher or you can put it in your sink or whatever. Wash it very easily and then wipe this one off. Um, it's nice and small so it's not going to take up that much space on my counter. Goodness knows I don't have any more counter space yeah okay um in terms of the price i can't really remember hey but i think it is just a little over 200 rand but that seems to be the normal price range um for the smaller ones so obviously if you're going for a more um up level a more upgraded type obviously then you you obviously will pay more for that but yeah, this one looks like it's going to do what I need it to do for as long as um, I'm going to need it, I suppose. So yeah, that's my kitchen scale. Next in line, 
is a measuring jug. Now, I've got quite a few measuring jugs, but according to someone that lives in this house, apparently when I do YouTube videos, I need to have a better looking jug. And that's why I've hooked myself up with this jug over here. So it's got like a glass look but it is actually plastic so that means it's not going to be shattering so if it falls i'm probably going to have a little bit of a mark or something but it's not going to shatter and this type of plastic is going to assist me especially if i want to put it in the microwave i don't need to worry about it because it's microwave friendly and i can put hot liquids in it as well hmm, that's nice and then we've got the measurements on this side we've got the metric system the milliliters this side, can you see it? The readings. And on this side, you've got ounces. Well, I, I probably won't be using this one very much. But, left of it, you've got the cup measures. So, it shows you like a quarter of a cup, half a cup, three quarters of a cup. And on the other side, a third. You know? So, this is also going to be very useful. Um, and it was also not very expensive. It was less than 100 rand to buy, actually. So, the maximum of it is... 600 mils, 600 milliliters, so it's just above half a liter. Yeah. I'm going to have fun using this, and you're going to see me use this on the channel. So that means the other plastic jugs are out of here. And then next in line is a silicone pad. I think they call it a sil pad. So basically this thing, let's open it, is a little mat that you put on, let's just get scissors, it's a little mat that you put on a baking tray to actually bake on it as um, in place of not using, for example, baking paper or um greasing the pan and all that jazz and it's made of silicone so silicone can actually withstand very high temperatures and that's why this can be used in the oven but now the special thing about this specific one i'm trying to be gracious so this particular silicone mat has little stencils for if you're going to be making macaroons but I'm not going to be making <laughs> macarons with it I suppose not not right in the beginning because that's why I need not what I needed it for I actually just needed a normal um, plain silicone mat but they didn't have one that was available um all the others were a delivery time of about seven to nine days and i couldn't wait so i got myself this specific one so maybe uh somewhere in the future i might um use the stencils for something but for now i literally just want to use it as a silicone mat inside of my cookie sheets because i am using those quite a bit lately and then yeah so that's the sil pad um okay i keep forgetting so i can't really remember how much this is so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put all the products on the description box and then i'll put the prices next to there i'll just check it again and just put the prices next to there but um the one thing i wanted to say is if you're not going to be using a silicone mat or a sil pad um very often then it's probably not something that you want to buy because it's not it's really not that cheap um so yeah but i'll just make sure to put all the prices in the description box and last inside my take a lot box is something I'm very excited to have I don't know why I've never bought one before I suppose I've never needed it 
but I have bought myself a sealer. really awkward so forgive me normally when I'm unboxing stuff it's just me and I'm literally just throwing the stuff around but today I have to be mindful of you so this is an impulse sealer so it's the machine that you use to seal plastic so if you've got a plastic container or a little one of those little film plastic containers and you need it to be closed up at the top what you're going to do is you're going to put it through here and when this is plugged in it gets hot and you hold it down down like so and when you do that it's actually going to seal the plastic in place now as you can imagine this one is not um really something that you want to buy if you are not going to need it um very often because surely there are other ways to seal plastic bags but i am going to be needing it um Quite a bit for my new adventure that's upcoming and that's why i've decided to invest in one um so this one is actually one of the smaller ones i think it's the second one in the range um it's so up to 20 centimeters plug it in. and it's the normal mm -hmm. uh, uh two pin plug that you would use and it seems it actually comes oh yes look at this it comes with an extra padding mat to put on here because remember this is where we are going to actually put the plastic to um, seal it closed so this is the extra mat that they're giving me obviously because every time over time when you're using it you're going to have a little bit of the plastic sticking on there I, I assume I don't know I suppose once I start using it I might come back to you guys and let you know but the top is a little silicone rubber let's open it so you can see the top is a little silicone rubber but this little mat is, seems to be made of some kind of cloth and i assume that's why they would give you an extra one um because yeah i suppose that one could get um uh ruined and um just like the silicone mat this is a quite specialized tool it's not something that you would buy for everyday use. I can't see what you'd use it in your house for that frequently, but um, if you need it, something to check out. Um, it's going to make my life easier. I know that for a fact. And yeah, this is my mini batch of stuff that I have bought. So I'm really excited and I'm also really excited to be sharing with you uh, in the very near future what I am going to be using all of this for but until then um, mum's the word <laughs> thank you very much for unboxing my little shopping spree with me and I hope you enjoyed it just remember to give a like to the video and just drop a comment whether it's a comment or a question whatever it would be wonderful and see you next time bye